What's up, y'all? Welcome to the What More Can I Say podcast episode what number and a half. Right, uh, right. Tell <laughs> right. uh, yeah. the truth. Shout out to Ryder. Ryder had a Ryder had a miss out. <laughs> Put us in, in, in a in a record mode, trying to he actually tried to catch me in a higher quality on my new camera angle, mm. and I was trying to you know get me he trying to get me looking crispy, but then we had to re-record. So mm. you guys mm-hmm. missed an amazing pod. So we're giving you one forty one and a half and a half and a half. And let's go ahead and introduce, introduce people. It is <laughs> the first lady of the pod, the only lady of the pod. She's fluffy and fine. It's Kiki. Hello, friends. Damn, Kiki. Yeah. What's up, Kiki? You know, it's just crazy to me how we are here again. Yeah. Um. You know, re- redoing, running it back. Second time this week. Because, you know, people go viral a couple times, and now we got to have 17 camera angles, and <laughs> we got to re-record. Like, it's just so crazy. People forgot they started this on their Zoom screen, but that's all right. Ooh. Who went viral? I think that was Us. all shot at you. No, it, it's, it's, it's just crazy. Cause, oh, yeah. You know, we yeah. wouldn't be here if we didn't have to, you know, well, no, we all we, these cameras. Yeah. I mean, the clips, we appreciate y'all. The clips are doing well. We got a lot of cameras We now. used to share one camera, but go, go ahead. Yeah, that's it. This is good. This is good. We, we're improving. Mm. That's that's right. The funny man of the pod, you mm. hear him over there, man. My little bro, man, Zach Boog. What's up, man? What's up, big dog? We do have four cameras in here, man. Yeah, because it's, it's... We wild. They getting Hollywood, y'all. Yeah, They getting man. Hollywood. We got We going to get a producer next. <laughs> yep. Four cameras. Yep. What else we Just need? make sure it work. Cut. Make sure it work. Makeup person. You ain't going to be the only one beat. Child, yeah. I'm already not the one B. They got don't let them lie to y'all. They got a makeup team already. That's why we, you know. I always wonder why does Kiki always look crispier than us? Though? Have you ever noticed that on that crispy? Yeah, Kiki, I think so. Well, it's, Kiki, is she lit up? It's a lot going on over there. What? Well, I think it's because she's right directly under, under, under the, the light, light, but I'm right under the light though. But you like and you skin. like skin, bro. So that that like, <laughs> no nah, light. On, that's not light cool. on light. He got the most light out of all of us. That's not cool. Light on light kind of don't make it bright. You know how you mm, can't light I certain guess. things. Is that maybe that's what it is? That, you know that's what? so not gonna, cool. You colorist. I'm just gonna tell the <laughs> truth. This is why Kiki looks better than us on the camera. Writer likes her more. <laughs> what? Please, <laughs> please, yep. please. Spends way more time no. color correcting her shots. <laughs> no, he don't. He, he don't give a damn about us. <laughs> yep. He Y'all. just slaps us up. Yeah. And then he'd be like, "Hold on, let me take my time with Kiki." He'd no. Fine tuning, Kiki. Absolutely. Kiki not. is definitely with fine tuned. With a fine comb. No, no, that's not the truth, guys. I'm the only one on the pod using an old camera. Okay, they they both got brand new cameras, new tripods, new lights. They using moisturizers. He got a skincare routine. Yeah, it's a do. lot going on on this side yeah, of the room. I'm the only one on the same camera we started with, but that's all right. You can. It's a natural glow from the Lord. But mm-hmm. oh, okay, <laughs> natural glow from the Lord is wild. Yes. All yeah. right, let's go ahead and get into it, man. We didn't give everybody our take about Cat Williams. Uh, well, we did, but we, you guys didn't hear it. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you think about Cat Williams, Zach? You're the comic on the show. Oh, my God. The first answer I gave is so much better because I remembered it. Right. Um, what did I say? Yeah. I think I believe I, I looked at this Cat Williams thing from a few perspectives. You know what I'm saying? Um, as, a, as a fan of comedy, I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was like a comedy special. You know what I'm saying? Like his nonstop jokes all the way throughout it. Nobody can can just um, formulate words like Cat Williams and put them together. You know, your undying loyalty to losers. I know. <laughs> it's like that. those are just bars. He put so many bars within it. But then I also was inspired to one day be talked about by Cat Williams, whether it's, <laughs> a, whether it's in a positive light or a negative light. I want to be able to where Cat Williams know who I am. That means I'm doing enough in the comedy game mm-hmm. that he cares to comment. Whether he says I'm a plant, I didn't work, I ain't funny, whatever he said, he know your name. You know what I'm saying? He gave props to all the other young comics. You notice that? Like He was like, all of the young comics, I have nothing bad to say about none of them. You right. know what I'm saying? That's what I think a lot of... OG should do in industries. It's like, you know, they may not all be his favorite or or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But like he said, I have nothing to, bad to say about them because they dealing with a different beast that I didn't that I didn't deal with. He was like, it's certain things that gives them advantages and it's certain things that gives them disadvantages that I didn't have to deal with. So I salute them all. You know what I'm saying? Um, but then let's talk about if we talk about true or not, whether a cat is telling the truth about Steve Harvey stealing jokes or 
or um, Cedric the Entertainer stealing jokes. That's out of my jurisdiction. You know what I'm saying? I can't talk about the king stealing jokes. Oh, Steve Harvey, the king of comedy, stole a joke from Cat Williams. It looked like it, though. As a comic, I can't have that conversation. Okay, you can't. I it's, can't. It's, that's like, why? 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 Because I can't. That's, why? Why? that's hate, though. Yeah, well, why? Why did I can't. you try to say something from that? Like that's it. hate for me. How? If the facts are the facts. If there's proof of him doing somebody else's joke, that's it's a fact. So you saying you think he stole it? I'm saying I saw the evidence that was presented, and I haven't heard a rebuttal from either okay, here's person what I'm, saying they didn't. Here's what I don't think y'all understand. Being called a joke thief in the comedy world is almost like calling somebody the, the scum of the earth. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So to make those accusations, you got to have some proof. You can't just come out he there. He did. You, cat did. That cat said that. I'm saying I can't come and call that man a joke thief. Okay. That's wild to say. Kiki, like that man what do you think? Jokes. We're not going to put Zach. I mean, we're not, we're not gonna I can't say that. That's wild. Let him. He you won't know. be allowed in any comedy rooms after this, so we're not going to do that to Zach. What do you think? My brother-in-law, who's like a dad to me, always taught me if it walk like a duck and it quack like a duck, it's a goddamn duck. And it's <laughs> given very much it's a duck. Mm. If you see somebody do the joke on Thursday mm-hmm. and then you get on stage and do the same joke Friday, you stole the joke. Whether I'm a comedian or a custodian, you stole the joke. <laughs> it's not even nothing to, you know what I'm saying, to argue about. And it don't make you a hater for telling the truth because the truth isn't the proof. That's all I, you know, so, like, I understand you don't want to make the accusation you lightly. Don't have to. But if I just showed you video that on Thursday I said this and then on Friday the next person got up and said exactly word for word what I said. And joke and make it, as comedians, y'all are storytellers. So it's very, it's not a coincidence if you tell the exact same story that I said from my, you know what I'm saying? If I made a joke about my childhood, you mean to tell me you went through the exact same experience? No, but the j- jokes are curated at different times. That's what I'm saying. So y'all only see the filmed joke. I just y'all know y'all. see when the joke is filmed. Yes. You didn't, y'all don't see when the joke started. That's true. That joke started t- may have started 10 years ago. And the joke that he's accusing that he was accusing him stealing was about pumping gas. Who? A general thing. The uh that cat was accusing Steve of stealing. Oh, but I didn't it, hear it, him say Steve stole a joke from him. I heard him say Steve stole Mark Curry's uh stuff. Yeah. But yeah. The, the internet said that Steve had, And Cedric stole Cat's right. joke. Yeah. Now that was about parking, parallel parking and right now those jokes do look similar. They both man, talk about driving. Look, I'm not gonna let you, man. Look, you just, you just, if it walk like a duck and quack, look, you just trying to. I get it. Look, y'all, I'm a, we don't let Zach off the fire. No, Me yeah. and Kiki gonna tell you. <laughs> and I love Cedric the Entertainer, and I he's a cap, man of cap alpha side. But I'm a t- I would tell him to his face, Noob, it looked like you stole the joke. Now here's another thing you got to remember: Cat Williams didn't get famous until he did Friday. Cedric the Entertainer and Steve Harvey were way more famous than Cat Cat Williams at one time. Way more sitcom on every day, he, radio shows, all type of stuff, movies. I mean, they they were yeah a hundred percent way more popular than Cat. So they probably heard that joke like, hey, I don't know what this. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to take it in and take it somewhere else. Fine. I mean, it is what it is. It's, I don't know the morality code around it with, with comics, but, I mean, hey, man, it, it is what it is. I, I Do I look at – this is the thing. Do you look at Steve Harvey or do you look at Cedric the Entertainer crazy after the accused of stealing the joke? No. No. Now, you don't. I don't. No, I don't. You don't. I, do. I still think Steve Harvey is one of the most talented people on the planet, along with Cedric Entertainer. You can't like. You can argue. People can say stuff about Steve. The numbers is on the goddamn board. You know, it ain't like you. It ain't like you got to guess how successful he is. It's right there. You don't got to guess about how successful Cedric the Entertainer is. The numbers are on the board. So you look at it from a success standpoint, but from a com- comic standpoint, you don't respect a joke thief. I don't care how many tickets you sell. If you are a joke thief, you are disrespected, bro. One time. People fight over jokes. People throw hands. Like, it's a serious well, thing. What they the fight then? People, I have seen, <laughs> I have seen with my own eyes, people get punched in the mouth when they walk off stage. You'd be like, that's my joke. It's that serious. It I believe is serious. It. I believe it. It's, it's an very intellectual property. Serious I believe thing. it. I believe like, that. nobody's sitting here, like, playing with you about their joke. No, I know. And That's I, how people feed their kids. I get, Bernie I get Mac, it. let me tell you how important a joke is just to put it in perspective for y'all. Bernie Mac's 
joke about his nieces and nephews adopting them turned into a sitcom. Okay? The Bernie Mac show. Yeah. The Bay Bay Kids. One joke yeah. can change your life. Bay Bay Kids it's true. was about what one joke. I so when it. you say that, when you just accuse somebody of stealing a joke, that's a big thing. This ain't no like, oh, it don't matter. Oh, it's cool. It's not cool. It's not, I'm not saying it's cool. And I said it's cool. I I think that what we had, what what you have is somebody little broin in a situation. Little broin, they didn't know Cat was gonna turn into Cat Williams. Mm -hmm. They didn't. They, they you didn't know it. It happens all the time. It happens so all the time. So my thing is, it, it happens all the time because I've we've all had this happen. I'm sure you you as you're a comedian, you've probably been somewhere and somebody has said I've been in a comedy room and somebody literally told a story that I told them the morning that I saw them. It's weird, but it happens. However. What I think is you cannot get mad when that person either surpasses you in success or gets on your same level of success and then addresses the truth, which is that you stole my joke. It don't. We both made it. We both famous. We both good and, and rich. You know, Kat's rich. Steve's rich. Cedric's rich. Everybody's rich and successful. So, again, like to Tone's point, it doesn't take away how I am a fan of those guys. It just it's just Kat telling his actual truth, which is when I was a little dog, you stole my content. Cool. Now we both big dogs, and I'm just reminding you that I know that you stole my content. <laughs> and I that's what I really got from the whole Cat Williams interview is that like. Anybody who's been a Steve, a Sid, or anybody in my life, I'm going to expose you one day. And I hope it inspired everybody else that watched that interview. Like, you ain't got to do it right now. You still a little dog. One day you will be big dog. You know what I'm saying? And if you and, and you got to remember, all of us, it's a lesson for everybody. Whoever is the little dog in your life, watch how you treat them. Because you never know. One day they're going to tell their story. And treat people right. And if we all treat people right, you never have to worry about getting exposed at Club Shay Shay. That's, yeah, exactly. it. That's, that's it. I mean, I was about to say, even to our point, we hear people steal breaks. You, yeah. we, this just happened on the pod. You, Tom talked about nasty sixes and oh, sevens yeah. on oh, the pod. I think he was going to go there. I was, uh, oh, let's just uh, tell uh, it like God. it is. Oh, I, I let's, really because let you. me tell you, and I hate when people try to <laughs> gaslight me and tell me that <laughs> they, you ain't come up with that. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, you did come up with, I ain't never heard 69 nasty, whatever you was talking about, nasty sixes and sevens in my life. No, that was mine. That was you me. came up with that right here on this podcast. And then 48 hours later, Stephen A. Smith got on his platform, which is bigger, <sighs> and used the exact same analogy. She name dropped, too. So, that's just the truth. I, like, just, I, 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 don't think, I don't think Steve stole it, per se. I think, this is, the, I think... A producer yes. saw it. I yes. think a producer saw yes. it and he said, let him see it mm -hmm. and he remixed it. Yes. Steve's the big dog. He Steve's the big dog. Yes. And I and I believe if Steve saw me, if I walk, I've met Stephen A. Smith on uh, and he's a gracious man. Mm -hmm. So I know if he saw me, he'd probably say, Oh, what's up, bro? And you know, I wouldn't even have to bring it up. But I did think that was weirdly odd. Weirdly odd. And I'm not in we're, people not crazy and people don't forget. So the producers <laughs> that still in, whoever's still in, the producers just know be still in. We clock your T and that's fine. You got that one off. But one day we will be the big and, dog. And, uh, and, writers... and then you won't be able to do that opportunity. It just happened to me this week. Ooh. This week. Oh, y'all got to trigger Keith. This, this week. Uh, you might as well this tell week it. I'm just saying, it just happened to Ooh, me she this hot. week. You might as well tell it. Somebody, I, I, get, I got a uh, feature on my show over there on a friend show called Kiki Karaoke. It's uh, it's organic because it, it came from a story of me being on the show and not knowing the songs they playing. That you know, I just didn't know them. Right. So we made it a joke. We started talking about it. So the joke is they play songs to see if I know the rest of the lyrics. Most of the times I literally don't, so I just freestyle. Yeah. I literally just saw somebody <laughs> do the exact same thing on the exact same uh format that and that's not new. You didn't and I know mm. where you got it from. And that's okay. Mm. Yeah, that's that. okay. You got that one. But, like, don't think that I don't know. That's why you did that. Call, well, she told it. She told it. She did. I mean, I mean I've, I've did. definitely that's had your, But things. that's your truth. You know that. That's, that's the literally. That's what I'm saying. I, like, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I definitely had things stolen throughout the career. And, I, you know, I remember I, when I wanted to be on the radio so bad, I would send packages. Mm -hmm. I would send packages. You know, we've sent a package before. As a okay, pod, yeah. to, to, and, and I remember I told you, I said, I'm careful about what I'm going to put all in this yes, package yes. because they'll take it and steal it. Yes. I remember I put, I, me and Shag put all our ideas in there. These young, fresh mm -hmm. ideas. Mm -hmm. They, I got this, 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 it's going to sound like this. This is how it's supposed to go. 
we didn't get the job, but they showed, and, and literally, my, like, literally, y'all, they had a handbook of my ideas. Yes. It was just, I would listen, and they'd be peeling off. It'll pop up. Wow. They didn't know how to execute one. And you got but at the end of the day, same with Cat Williams, and it, it, same with Mark Curry, you the sauce. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, the creator is the sauce. Somebody can remix it, try to do, but it ain't going to have the power that it's going to have into, from the creation, the person that created, created it. Mm. It's just... It just it just does. Come so on. I mean, like when I like I said that, and for the producer Stephen, they probably cursed that producer out. They gave him that because it didn't land nowhere. It was just like <clears throat> it never does. It didn't even sound it natural never does. coming from him. Because I I can give you the full ingredient list. I could give you the full ingredient list. But to your point, you it, the sauce will not taste the same. So when you out here stealing people content, and when you out here creeping around being weird. Okay, instead of just using your God given talents, it's never gonna hit like it hits with the person that it came from. And I'm done. Come on now. I'm gonna leave it. All right, we'll move off of that because that <laughs> triggered the. Kiki. Uh, all right, uh, we gotta send the congratulations out, though, seriously, to uh, our brother, friend of the show, uh, G Herbo. Uh, everybody will have things to say about her. And, you know, I, you know even when I was out, because people know, you know, I'm cool with him. Mm-hmm. And you know, yeah, man, he he doing that. How you gonna do that? He gotta go do five years. He gotta go do ten years. He gotta go do this. I was like, hey man, it's a fair case. He still say he got some stuff going on with it. You don't know. We don't know. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like, I I take it. I really that's the same thing about Young Thug. Even though we'll get into that case a bit because I know Zach's following it. Um, I don't I don't like talking about people's cases. I don't. I don't, cause like you people, we all fun and game. Ah, you know, he did. but that's they. At the end of the day, they gotta go walk in that back room. Yeah, they gotta go in the back, and that like you know, and I could look at her and know he was stressed. You know, you you got family, you got kids, you got and, and the bank of G Herbo cannot close. If he closes, it's a lot of stuff that's gonna have to change in people's life. And, and the fact that I, I'm happy, man, again, he got three years probation, uh, has to pay $140,000. He got that in his back pocket. Uh, and, and, but uh, uh, that's to get off with probation. Y'all better find that man, lawyer. Yep. Well, yeah. And that's also it's just the favor of God because I feel like G Herbo been being done wrong a lot in his career. Okay. I don't know the ins and outs. I'm I, I know this you know what I've heard and what's been talked about in the industry, but I don't know the day to day. But from what I see and what he said is that he's been getting robbed his entire career. Sheesh. So the fact that he was even put in those type of situations to potentially right. break a, a law, you know what I'm saying? I hate that that was even a part of his story. And right. I don't know if I just get upset about Chicago artists when they, because I know how hard it is to make it from Chicago. Like, nobody, people in Chicago don't want to support you. So the fact that you make it up out your city and you're doing great things and you got a platform for yourself, like, to know that your own people were stealing from you, I sympathize with him on that piece. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Plus, he's been very vocal about the mental health issues that he's going through. People said it was for the case, whatever it may be. But I just feel like when you going, when he going through the stuff, like he fighting demons that we don't know about. You nah, know what I'm saying? Man, you can look at him and tell he's Yeah, stressed. like that we don't know about. And I just hate when I see people from Chicago being done wrong. So like, I'm I'm happy that he's going to get, you know, hopefully be able to fix this and move on with his career. Yeah, yeah. that's a big deal. That's a big deal for him. Big deal. Yeah. Uh, uh, speaking of cases though, Zach, uh, what's going on now? A lot of stuff is happening with the YSL case. And oh, I, you know, I've been keeping up with it. I know you've been keeping up with it, man. They, they brought LeBron in it. <laughs> they brought LeBron in it. The slime handshake, Serena Crip walking. It's <laughs> what a, I, 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 what'd you say, Kiki? No, I was just saying that they said it was Zach was the man who uh, zoomed in, who hacked the Zoom oh, and yeah. started just yelling, free stuff. Free, free stuff. <laughs> yeah. Free stuff. Mistrial. Mistrial. <laughs> I said, this, this, y'all are not helping him. Please stop doing that. Oh, that wasn't you? No, I, oh, I okay. wish I would. Freak up! <laughs> Let's try! <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got in on the Zoom. How, how, did, how, are, how are people this smart, bro? I've been trying to, all I've been saying with this whole, People are so f***ing smart out here, bro. Hilarious. They are so smart and do the dumbest shit with the smarts. Yes. It's like, hey, I'm about to- <laughs> You got all the way in and then you got your opportunity and, and you say, Freak up! Freak up! Miss Trap! 
because I think you don't know you're going to get it. And yeah. then once you get in, you don't know what to do. You're excited. So you're just like, yes. Ah. <laughs> How are you that smart to hack into a government <laughs> live stream and then do some dumb shit? Free thug. <laughs> Miss Trial. I know thug was like, this is not helping. <laughs> I don't think the judge is going to be like, you know what? I think I should free right. him. Right. I'm going to free him. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> should free up. Uh, man, tell us though, man, what's going on, G? Man, uh, first of all, I love I, this case, which I've been saying from the beginning. If they do not have hard, you need to have hard evidence. Things like guns that that are connected to murders. Things like uh, fingerprints. Um, somebody uh, bullet shellings. Mm -hmm. so, something connected to the murders. But if y'all keep coming here with song lyrics. Right. It's not going to stick because it's just, it's it could go so many ways. So the latest thing that's went viral is Lil Tick, um, which is, they say he's the a YSL co-founder. Mm. And he's on stand acting, I don't know if he is slow or acting slow. Oh, but yeah. Is, have you seen him? Mm -hmm. he, he, they've been asking him questions. They he's asked good. him the other day about LeBron James. They said, so you don't know that LeBron James is throwing up? You never saw a video of LeBron James? putting a finger on his nose and saying slime, he was like, uh, well, <laughs> you talking about LeBron James. Oh, I know LeBron James do a lot of handshakes with all his teammates. He just say dumb stuff right back to him. He's been doing it. They was like, you don't know that. You didn't see uh, Serena Williams do the crip walk after she won? He was like, I don't watch tennis. <laughs> they said, they said, he ain't and he waits. He waits though. He looks like he's thinking about it, and then he'll just say so. And then they was like, they they asked him about his age. It was real simple. They was like, okay, so you were in in 2016. You was this age. 2013. You were this age. Ten years later, how old are you? He was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You said 2013. He asked questions. They was like, then they broke it down. Like, okay, ten years from, ten years from now, how old are you? He said, "You throwing too much on me." <laughs> I said, <laughs> "He said I ain't never been that good at math. You throwing too much on me." No, I, I said I would, I would have ruined the whole trial. Yeah, I, I would have been they in that. playing in there, <laughs> and they started a trial. One one day they started it off playing the lyrics of Lifestyle. Mm hmm. I saw that. They played the lyrics to Lifestyle. That's wild to me, man. Y'all sitting there playing the lyrics of, of lifestyle in the courtroom. This, if this is the evidence, it's not gonna stick. Yeah, you gotta have something else other than song lyrics and what you think these song interpretations is. Because all you have to do in the court of law, especially in criminal court, is have a shadow of a doubt, right? Right. So the shadow of the doubt is YSL stands for uh, Young Soldiers of the Lord. Oh my God! It now it may not, but oh just the God. fact that that doubt is there. You can't convict somebody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Young you, you, soldiers yeah. of the Lord. Yeah, it, it, it may. <laughs> yeah. That's not gonna get off. I just feel like he's gonna get off. Or it's, I think he's getting off. It's gotta be a way. Now they do. Only thing that I see that them getting them on is him being that they seem to be able to prove is that he's in a gang. Mm. But I don't know. Is that a crime though? Right. You know, is well, how many years do you get for being in a gang? You know, depending on what that gang has been accused of being right, involved in, right. so that's where, that's where I, it gets sticky. It that's why it's a Rico That's case. where it's still a little stickiness there, where they could get him on the Rico and fact of him being connected to other people who, let's say they can't get thug, but they can get another guy who they know did it, and they're in the same gang. That Rico law may be able to get everybody because they can be like, "Oh, thug, you was leading this." You know, yeah, it's tough. It's a na it's nasty work. That's but the only. That's the sticky part. But they keep trying to throw these lyrics out, and they showing his outfits and. <laughs> Bringing up LeBron James, I was like, y'all, y'all are reaching, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Kiki got anything to say about this? The YSL case? Um, no, but just to the man who hacked into the case, you know, into the courtroom. Like, if you gonna do that, sir, use your powers for good. Hack into them student loan people. Come on. Hack into my parking toll, my toll tickets from man, Illinois. Stop paying you, your goddamn <laughs> tickets, Kiki. You said stop. Start. I'm I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to get better, <laughs> but I'm just saying, if you out there with the password, you might as well just <laughs> go on up in there and clear it out. You know what I'm saying? Help me out. Help the regular people out. Young Thug gonna be all right. Uh, <laughs> but me, I'm out here running from the boot man. Please. Help me. That's all. <laughs> Just, that that that's hilarious. Yes. Oh, ooh, uh, I, it's 
Oh, Before we get, oh wow, I, oh, oh wow, oh, 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 I found something. I found something that's kind of funny. I want to tell y'all about it, but I'm gonna wait. It's just, it's like a blurb. It's, we can wait. Uh, lastly, before we uh, get out of here on pod 141 mm-hmm. and a half, uh, <laughs> is uh, yeah, we got to talk about it. Uh, Jonathan Major's interview. Oh. Now, GMA, Jonathan Major's interview. I have something to say about Jonathan Major's interview, and I saw it from a lady on TikTok. I saw it. I was like, oh. Oh, that makes sense. I didn't even see it that way, and I was mad I didn't catch it. Talk to but the lady. When you, when you, I talked to the lady on TikTok. Yes. The lady on TikTok got me, Kiki. Oh. I'm popping on t- TikTok oh, right yes, now. Oh, yes, you are. Yeah. I'm yes. popping right now. Yes. I'm popping. Shout out to my daughter. She put me on. <laughs> She's had me from the world. Now I'm up. Come on. Uh, but, yeah, uh, John that made this interview, he telling the, the white woman to act like Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama. Uh, as a black woman, do you feel like that's cool? Absolutely not. Why? You know that. But why oh, I, I, my bad, y'all. That was on the last, what was this, the, the 140? Yeah, one? Yeah, that was yeah, on the yeah, real yeah, episode. Yeah. So, yeah, you got to act like you ain't never yeah, said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't remember what I said, but I was pissed off with Jonathan Majors. Because um, basically, don't don't tell a, don't tell any woman, act like Coretta. What does that mean? That's What What does that mean? You know what I'm saying? What Hold trying, him down. No, what you trying to say, Coretta was a, a pushover? No. What was you trying to say? She she got walked over? No, nah, he's saying that she's What was supportive. you trying to say? Supportive. Okay, but was you giving Martin? Was you ever giving Martin Luther King? No. Ooh, that's, Don't that's ever tell one. me to be Coretta if you wasn't giving Martin. Don't ever tell me to be Michelle if you're not giving Barack. Mm. Don't ask me to be B if you ain't J. This is why I, y'all need to stop doing that. I don't do it. Okay, good. Don't ever do that. Don't don't ever tell your woman be like don't somebody else. Don't let her scare you like that. <laughs> She's scared. Did you me. see her? I, I think this whole I was, episode I, I got told I was, a little shit. I don't do it. I, was scared. I don't do it. <laughs> I was scared. I was scared. scared it. so quick. I was scared. He I think I scared Tom. I told you. I wish you watched it. <laughs> <laughs> he got out of that so quick. I don't, I don't, do, I don't do that, Kiki. <laughs> I, yeah, that's right. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't ever tell your your dude or your girl, you know, like be like so and so if you're not giving the energy of the spouse that they are with. You know what I'm saying? And Jonathan Majors ain't never gave me Martin Luther King vibes. Because Martin would never. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's yeah. He likes them white women, man. That's cool. Martin probably liked them too. Ain't nothing wrong with white women, but it's just like, don't ever tell any woman to be like somebody else. Because yes, if I'm Coretta, what the, what is you trying to say? Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. Oof. Yeah, I want no smoke from that. Yeah. Zach, I mean, but, okay, but I, this is this is the part. Me being devil's advocate, I mm-hmm. think me and Zach probably on the same page. Come on, Don't take it, take him down with you. <laughs> nah, I, no, I think I think because we just I think Zach, I'm a, I'm throwing you in there. Take it's him the down. fact is that I think he was probably trying to. She was probably not supportive. First of all, I, this is a trigger warning on this one for me because I know. When I see stuff like this and an argument happen like this, this ain't the first time. No. This crazy this crazy don't just jump out right. between two people. This right. is it. This so <laughs> this is crazy they've been involved with. And he's stupid, and I'll explain why in a minute. But I think he was like, yo, man, I need you to be a strong person like this by my side. And he views those women as strong people as by his side. I think that's what he's thinking, because at the end of the day, he's the he's the prize in a sense. He's the guy. He's the he's the guy. He's, it, she's definitely benefiting from being with him, one thousand percent. She's benefiting in that way. So he's like, yo, if I'm this strong figure, I need another strong figure by me. I we don't know why what she was doing that was not supportive, but whatever. Right. Nin- okay. Here's my thing, real quick. <laughs> right. I didn't want to throw you in there. Kiki looked I'm, like she's jumping been- out this boat. What? Uh, okay. Jonathan Major, stop bringing up Coretta Scott. Thank King. you. That, okay. She was born in 1927. You 33. Stop it. You don't know what Coretta was doing. That's exactly. True. That's, that's, that's my don't point. Have that. She was born in 1927. Okay? That's true. You have no clue. So whatever your idea of Coretta is, learn some other uh, successful, strong black woman that you want to compare people to. All right. Some more current. Okay. Like your mama. Yeah. She went strong. Mm. Yo, ain't she went strong? Mm. You don't got a strong cousin. Mm. Yeah, that's the problem. Ooh, man, you are part yeah, of the day, Kiki. You, you, <laughs> you just saying. keep bringing up Coretta Scott Coretta, King. Like, she didn't actually Michelle did. Obama, they yeah. don't. They, let, stop that. All right, next thing. Jonathan, what was the point of that in- interview on ABC7? Oh, I got it from the lady. What was the point? <laughs> I what got it. What was the point? Oh, I got it. I can't I'm wait gonna, to I was going to tell you the truth, and it may not sound right. It may not be politically correct, or it might not be what you're supposed to say. But it's I'm just speaking facts. You are not gonna get empathy from black women. 
when you in a case with a white girl and you told her and you told her to be like even when you got Meg even though you got Meg is gonna hold you down Meg that's that's what I'm trying to say they're not what I'm trying to say I don't feel like that interview made black women be like oh I feel sorry for him Kiki, no, he got the, Kiki, he, he gonna be so bag, proud of me when I'm about to break this down. He got the bad stick. Now we can. I'll ask a black woman. Yes, I will ask a black woman. Did that? Did that interview move you to be like, you know what? Did that move? Did that interview move Jonathan Majors in your good favor? No, but I want to clear what you said. You said no black woman will give you sympathy if you are in a case with a white woman. That's not true. That's not true. Not, that's okay, not true. because it could be. I don't give a, what color she is. If you did it and you wrong, you guilty. You know what I'm saying? You know, no, no sympathy to be given. You need to just pay your debt to society. I guess what black women judge you harder though. On I guess if you what I was trying to say was, relationship. Kiki, come on now. I was just black saying, women judge you harder if you're in an interracial relationship. Yeah, you don't think if, if no, you're in that you, type of thing. When you, it has. Thank you for letting me clear that up. Okay. When you bring up black women in comparison to them, is what I mean. If he was just in a regular, if he was just in a regular situation. But the fact that they brought up you, you told you asked that a, a white woman, and you brought up a black woman. Like, why aren't you acting like this? You she know said what I'm Bobby saying? Bobby Walters, Not, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't resist it. Amy Schumer, somebody. Oh God. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel nice. like. No, you know what? I feel how I feel. I'm just gonna say. So it. you feel like black no, women? No, I feel like black women don't have a lot of empathy. If you're dealing, no, I'm gonna tell the truth. Yeah, tell the yeah, truth. Because you've been truth. hiding the truth for this whole episode. So, so just tell. My I'm truth. glad the truth is here. Let's this go. This is how I feel. Yes. This is how I how feel. How you feel? And this may be. I don't want. <laughs> you're gonna hear. Cancel culture is so just. You're not gonna get canceled. It's okay. okay. It's a safe space. But this is how I feel. I feel like when 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 black men when black men get in trouble. When they were dealing with a white woman, I feel like black women lack empathy for that black man in that situation. I feel like a lot of times they'd be like, that's what you get. You shouldn't wow. have been over there. Mm. That's a, I mean, that, that's, that, 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 that's no lie. Like, that's I, not, I, I don't, like I don't feel like it's a lie. Empathy. I don't feel like they're just like, oh, my brother, you know, like, I don't feel like that. Yeah, I would think that. But the fact mm-hmm. that you go back and, and then... Cause then, cause I, I'm not saying that it's not real, and not saying that they, they don't. They, I hear a lot. Then you of, go get. Then you go get Meg. Then you go get Megan Good. Then you go get Megan Good, and it's like, yo, it's like everybody. It's a, that's that's the difference. I need support for my community. Let me go get like I, like Cuba Good Jr. He got in trouble. He still kept dating white women. He didn't care. That, he's he's like, look, it is what it, it yes. is. What it is. Yeah. But I, I think. Where people look at, I think what black women will look at it, and what I read in the comments, and what I think where you could look at it is saying, hey, you could date who you want to date, but don't try to come running back to us when you things go wrong. I think that's kind of like the overwhelming statement that they have, not right or wrong, but yes. that's what it, it feels like the world is saying. I think the issue, I think what you guys are feeling, what you feel is valid. Right. What you feel is valid. However, I think the issue is to his point when black men date white women, a lot of times they turn their nose up to black women. Yeah, that's so true. So my thing is I like and respect men who date white women, but hold us all at the same regard as women. You don't compare us. You don't try to say, this is why I date black women, or this is why I date white women. This is why I date Latino women. Rather, just dating women. You just That's date weird. all women. You just like women. You respect women. You treat us all the same. However, you have men who date white women, who turn their nose up to black women, and then when all hell breaks loose, they want to turn around and run back to the arms of a black woman for us to rescue them and save them. And that is when we give them that reaction, Zach, which is, go, go to your mama. That, that, go go find your mama. Now, don't come to me asking me to be Coretta. Go to go ask your mama to hold you down like Coretta because I'm not doing it. So I think that's what that is. Absolutely. Um, okay. But, yeah, I, I don't I, – me, I can only speak for me. Uh-huh. And I, I'm no – no. If my, I got white aunties in my family. So, like, I don't care what you date. My thing is if you date one and you prefer one, you want to scream that to the world and disrespect the other, yeah. then don't that's come weird. back to the other when all hell break loose. Stay over there. That that that's the weird part. I do. I agree. Yeah. I hundred percent. Because right. I've I've been accused of that because I mean I most people know I got a white baby mama and that's and they're like oh Tony you just love white women you no I I love women like if anybody knows me I I it does well, I like what I'm what I'm speaking on is that sentiment that even though as a man who loves all women okay I think Tony can really speak on this mm-hmm. because you you have loved all women and you you know that's you know what I'm saying you you've never denied 
dating from white to black to tall to skinny to to, to big to small. You know, you don't discriminate. You like them all. Yeah, they uh, they fine. Yeah, and you and you, you gotta like, be fine. And nasty. you like them all for for all weird tone reasons. I got weird <laughs> reasons. I don't. I don't know. That's what makes it so funny. Big women squishy. <laughs> yeah, oh, and yeah. What's wrong with him? What you what you say your weakness so like big and nasty? What was it? A big and nasty is probably my. If I had to really like, <laughs> what is big and ask, nasty? If I, had to, explain, if I had to ask, explain big, big and nasty woman is like kind of my favorite. So big when and you nasty, say big, like she's she's Please squishy. Get me out of here. Like like Kiki size. <laughs> Like uh-huh. Don't side. bring me in. Okay. Don't. Kiki size, but Please. nasty. Oh, okay. God. Oh, God. Like like nasty. Like <laughs> say wild stuff to you in the club. Mm-hmm. No. Send you weird pictures in the middle of the day for no reason. Yeah. You be like, oh, yo, oh, yeah. I'll see you later. You like <laughs> that. like, I'm like that's, yeah, yeah, <laughs> skip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. You just, you just, you just, like, you nasty for no reason. But now when everybody sees it, you say go. little stuff in my ear. I dated, it was hard for me to break up with that girl. We, I moved away. Wow. I moved away for this. Wow. I moved away. Wow. I moved away, but it was one. <laughs> she know who she was in Alabama, man. I was a big nasty girl, boy. That girl was nasty for no reason. In the in the late nineties, in the late nineties, how you nasty on email? Oh she nasty on AOL. Oh my God. How you nasty on email? <laughs> like, it was before. This before you got stuff to oh your phone, God. G. Oh this is like I had to go get on the computer. <laughs> I had to get on the computer and check my email and do my homework and send it. And I go open that email and she. I'm like, what did she send me? Oh, wow. <laughs> I close it down. No, no. I gotta open this up later in the room, in the dorm room. I was like, I, I hit her. I like, why you do that? She like, why wouldn't I do that? I wanted you to see it. Mm. I was like, ooh. He missed her. He missed, I, I he like, missed her. He had yeah. stood up out the chick, got his crutch in the corner. <laughs> He's standing up on his feet. I he on my feet, baby. Woo! Look, oh. this father's stay in your daughter's life. So oh, Tone Capone man. won't be on no podcast calling her Big Nasty. <laughs> and talking about, you know, she she's sitting in pictures for no reason. And this is crazy. Hey, this man, is crazy nasty pictures in the not- Being nasty in the 90s takes work. God. <laughs> like nasty. anybody can be nasty she, in 2024. You got to be nasty. Easy. In it. Hey, man, it takes a work to be nasty <laughs> in the late God. 90s now. Uh, uh, she, she had to get a real camera God. developed. Oh my God! No, fellas, no! Oh God, he gonna hey, hurt himself. Week, he gonna go hurt himself. Go to Walgreens. <laughs> Please. Please, oh my God! Oh, oh God! <laughs> oh shit! Wow. Oh, okay. But look, Are y'all okay? Y'all need, yeah, y'all need a minute. Y'all good? That, y'all that was hilarious. Need though. a minute I mean, alone. Wait a week for. Wait a week for pictures is so funny though, because yeah. you had to do that. But That's okay, crazy. Um, you developed. You like wait time, man. I went to Cancun. <laughs> wait till you see these pictures. Will you get them back? Like three days. Oh my god. <laughs> That's oh. crazy. We used to have to wait that long. Man, like, okay, anyway. We used to wait a long time for our pictures <laughs> right. for them to be. Up. I mean, Maybe you be like, damn, man. Yeah, right? These was underdeveloped. You right. used to have a whole. You had five, six pictures that wasn't even usable. Mm. Oh my god. Uh, oh, all nice. right. Let's get to this. But you're going to be proud of me. You're going to be proud of me for this. You're going to be proud. So I don't TikTok. I don't know the lady. I forgot her name. But it's, this is not my idea. This is hers. Okay. She says, hey, I'm a publicist. And I, in Jonathan Majors, I got something to say about Jonathan Majors' um, GMA interview. And I, I listened to it. And listen to this. Y'all finna be messed up. Mm. Who owns Marvel. Marvel? Don't start this. Marvel? Who owns Marvel? Don't start this. Who no? Who owns Marvel? Marvel. Right. Who? Disney. A- Disney. Disney. Okay. Okay. Who owns ABC, ESPN, and everything else? OJ. Disney. 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 Yes. So Disney let Jonathan Majors on their biggest morning show, which is their biggest platform uh-huh. in front of the world, to try to clean his image up so they can use him. Later on, they had to say, oh, we fired you. But they tried to put him on GMA to on their platform. If they fire you, that's Disney. They fired you from their whole situation. Right. So they let you on their biggest platform in the mornings. That's a morning show that they own. Yes. To clean your image. 
they trying to help you out so they can use you later on. Yes. That I was like, oh, I didn't even see that coming. Look at me. I talked to the lady. Tom, Tom really thought he did. Hit him with another one. If you go back and remember. We need another one. I ain't do that. that. I ain't do that. I ain't Tom, do that. That, that, didn't, that, that really just didn't. I didn't I mean, land it right? Was, it's it, obvious, <laughs> Tom. Like, I didn't see that coming, like, though. Maybe we, I didn't. I did. Tom, that's what they do. They all, it's the same oh, I hate team. This. I'm, not, I'm not. Okay, I'll let you be this conspiracy no, theory no, breaker. No, I'm not doing this no more. I'm a. I was, before we get right, on this on, camera, so my bad, my bad. Let's you see. supposed to be, damn, what, yeah, on, so what they do? Yeah, you supposed to be, you supposed to be like, damn, that's, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> so I that, hate both of you. So, so I, no, I, no, 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 so no, I don't want to talk, no, I don't want to talk anymore, I, no, I don't want to talk about this anymore. DSD. I hate y'all, I literally hate y'all. Disney on the NBA? No. <laughs> Nope. Not Jonathan Majors was trying. He was trying to buy CBS. That's what it was. Jonathan Majors was trying to buy CBS from the lady. God, no. Tom, you didn't uncover so the Disney mystery. So Disney Michael Jackson mask. Right, right. And then, I know on. the Michael Jackson biopic Pick, coming out. Maybe. And then, oh. Tyler Perry. <laughs> No, the I, I hate y'all. It's like, oh, oh, oh my god, <laughs> your I'm third not, eye open, nope. brother. Bro, and th do you know that Disney <laughs> really own Bad Boy? That's why Diddy in trouble. That's, that's why he ain't been on ABC. Yeah, we didn't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> See, I really, I really was excited about that whole thing. I gotta know. I'm the quarterback of the show, and, and I'm not going. I know like, you gotta know your role. This is an example. Knowing your role on the show, I'm not. I'm letting Kiki be the lady from TikTok and figure out the conspiracy. Not and doing people it no that are not even big enough to have conspiracy. Right? You feel? I was like, I was like, so I feel never like. Okay, so you know, so you know. I set it up too. So he did. He said. Who owned Disney like, so World? He'd be like, Who so owned listen. Disney World? So <laughs> He'd be like, listen, so you know, Papoose, right? And you'd be like, Papoose, we know. Papoose, hey, you brought Papoose in there. He ain't big enough to own that. I don't think he owned that. <laughs> well, he cool. He cool. With the dude that owned the Patriots. <laughs> you know, the meet them be with. Zach. Oh, uh, my God. I, I hate I'm sorry, man. Tom. I'm Tom, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, that I don't have so any good. boy. I'm never, I'm never, I'm never, I'm never, I'm never, before I say anything that has anything closely to do with the conspiracy, I'm going to run it by y'all before we're on camera. Oh, and, and the six people that watch the pod see this. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be upset. Oh, uh, oh, all just... right. Uh, before we get out of here, uh, guys, you see this? Ford is reportedly considering having self-driving cars repossess themselves. Hold on, wait, I gotta run from oh, the boot man I, and my own car? Your I wish, I would, I wish your I would be on the way to work. Your and car my car drive. decide to repossess itself, so, and I'm trying to get to work. Hey, uh, boss, I ain't gonna make it. The car taking me to the... <laughs> that, <laughs> my car going back to the plate, going back to the lot. <laughs> That's nasty work, that bro. Horrible. Ain't nothing you can do. You try to turn the steering wheel, get off. <laughs> that mug is like, mm, uh, and then hopped on the UA. It's going right back to the Tesla lot. Oh my God. That's crazy. That's, that, they're going to do that. Self driving cars, that's 100% yeah. they're going to do that. You don't pay that car note a couple yeah. months. Oh, they, they, they. No, your car going to stop. It's going to stop in the middle of the road. It's going to stop. It's pull over. And be like, yo, you need to exit that's the vehicle. Crazy. Exit now or pay your monthly bill. Can you that imagine being on a, on a date? And your um, car get repo. She's like, where are we right, going? Right. I thought we was going to new, no, no boo, but we not. <laughs> Baby, you going <laughs> to the boot. We going to the boot, man. <laughs> you, going, you back on, back on 66 and oh, Western. Oh. We'll take you back to God, oh let God. me drop her off first. She on the right. This ain't got to do with her. No, we don't need this. Oh, we don't no. need this that, at that, all. That's crazy. Can you imagine going so outside? Your car gone. That's crazy. It drove itself back. It drove back. its way out. It mm. left a note. <laughs> All right, man. Final thoughts, man. Final thoughts. I don't know. Shout out to Five Film that's in our comments right now, dragging us to hell. This one girl commented on my post. She said, "All this content out here, and y'all just in a abandon the pod." <laughs> so oh. since we didn't abandon, we gave y'all one and a half episodes, and we're gonna drop the audio from the first episode so y'all can hear that too. But um, yeah. Shout out to the Pod Film for just being patient with us this week. There it is. There it is. Zach Book, what up? What up? We out, man. <laughs> we out? Yeah. That's dog. all you got? That's okay. All I got. But Zach, do you know who owned Disney World? <sighs> Y'all yeah. still going to keep doing <laughs> this. Disney. He said, so hold on. Don't say, hold on. <laughs>
I waited for that. <laughs> I waited for my he moment. Said, Who old Mark? <laughs> and back to, and back and to I, I, I waited. I, I waited my close up and everything said, for that. Disney. All right. Now, who own ABC? Right. Disney. <laughs> who own my dear? Hey, you got to spin around in the chair like you just hit the point. <laughs> Slap the table. Disney. Slap the table. Um, mm. That's how you talk to the lady. Come on, Tom. <laughs> I hate so I talk right to the now. lady, Kiki. You ain't the only person who got TikTok Ooh, now. I know. Right, right, right. Oh. So you're going to repeat everything I said. <laughs> hey, look. We out of here. You ain't the only person who got TikTok. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I got TikTok, and I'm popping on that now. All right? Oh, yeah. Follow, follow Tall on TikTok, baby. The content is chef's kiss. Okay? Oh, my God. Yes. I, I'm getting ready to get out of here. <laughs> uh, the final thoughts, keep sharing the pod. Thank y'all very much for watching and waiting for the content. What more can we say? <laughs> I hate y'all. <you. laughs>